today is October 31st, 2017. I am having a battle with my mind, I guess you could say. Um, as you can see, my lips are kind of shaking. I'm breaking out everywhere. Um, this is weird talking to um, talking to a camera. It's very awkward. Um, my story is not. It's it's not to scare anyone, but it's to educate people on on what pharmaceuticals won't tell you um, five months ago I was having uh, a very difficult time with anxiety and depression after the birth of my second child I was admitted into a psychiatric unit and was introduced to a drug called Xanax. Um, I was very uneducated, uneducated on that drug and um, not knowing how it would affect me in the long run. Um, I'm currently going through withdrawals. Um, um, they're called internal withdrawals, meaning I'm still currently taking the same dose that I was taking. Um, however, I have built up a tolerance to it and it no longer works for me. Um, I wish I knew that you're only supposed to take benzodiazepines for such a long time. You're not supposed to really take them for longer than two weeks. And, um, I feel like I'm losing my life. Um, I can't eat well, I can't sleep well, my body hurts. I don't wish this on my worst enemy, and, um, I'm gonna continue to record my whole process, um, to educate people more because it's real. If, Pharmaceuticals, doctors, psychiatrists will prescribe you anything nowadays. Um, I am currently taking clonazepam, which is clonopin, two milligrams a day. Um, my body shakes all the time. I have disassociation moments. Um, I didn't know exactly why until I did my research and finally realized that I had built a tolerance. If you suffer from anxiety, if you suffer from anxiety, there are other ways than benzodiazepines. Meditate, read a book. Just don't let these doctors push these type of medications on you. I'm currently fighting for my life. I have tremors, I have nightmares, I have sleepless nights, um, the list goes on and on and on, um, I'm losing a lot of weight, I'm having a lot of suicidal thoughts, um, very depressed, um, at first the drug was amazing but your body will build a tolerance after a while, meaning your body wants more and more of that drug. 
and that is where or when doctors won't tell you why you know they won't tell you that part they won't tell you the part well you'll hit the tolerance wall and then your body's just gonna freak out on you and want more and you can't get more so what they do they taper you down and um i saw my psychiatrist today and he said oh well you could get off the drug in 10 days don't worry about it that's negligence on his behalf I've been on this medication for five months and for him to think I could taper off of it just in 10 days is ridiculous. I've had a seizure because of this. I've had heart populations. Um, I've had high, extremely high blood pressure and extremely low blood pressure. Um, I can't enjoy my kids. I can't be a mom. I don't know how long my withdrawals are going to be. I don't know if I'll make it to tomorrow. I, I don't know. And that's the scary part. You don't know. You, you, it's a hell in your own mind. If you suffer from anxiety, please. Do your research on benzos, Xanax, Ativan, Klonopin, Librium, anything that starts, anything that's a benzo. Stay clear away. It can do so much damage to your body. I have memory issues. I'm not the same person that I was before. And like I said, I don't know how long withdrawals are going to last for me. This is just day one. Um, I will continue my journey and I hope that people see this and realize that this could destroy your life.